So one thing about the MOLST is it allows parents and teams to talk about what kinds of interventions they want and make sense, and then which interventions perhaps don't make sense anymore. Yeah, my emotions on this MOLST form, I was like, shit. But it was a very emotional, emotional. I cried about it. I made a Facebook post about it. It was just, I needed to grieve because it was like grieving all over again. It really was to stop, to not do cardiac compressions. These are very basic things that the parent should not have to do. It really is. It just doesn't get as basic as that. And I just felt like it brought all those years back of, oh my God, my kid's going to die again. He's going to die. And I have no control over it. And so once I signed that paper, my husband signed it, we turned it in, I put it to bed. But when it's a form that goes home and parents sign that and medical providers sign that, I think there is just that sense of responsibility and love and all you've been through that um, just brings up all of that emotional connection. And I think what we, as a palliative care team hopefully can do and, and try hard to do is say, you know, these are decisions you're making because you do love yeah, Avery yeah, so yeah. much, because you want to protect him from things, from medical interventions that aren't going to help him.